What's going on, Yankees fans? Coming at you with another New York Yankees postgame recap. And the New York Yankees beat the Baltimore Orioles 8-6 at Camden Yards tonight. Huge win for the Yankees. They move up to 4-1 and one on the season, and they get their third win in a row. What a game by the Yankees. They, they come back from get, being down 6-5 to five in the ninth inning, and Aaron Judge hits a three-run moonshot into the Baltimore night, and the Yankees take a huge 8-6 to six lead, and then Zach Britton ends up closing it down, and the Yankees win the game 8-6, to six. They, and they sweep the two-game series from the Baltimore Orioles. They very bad Baltimore Orioles. The Yankees win 8-6, to six, and they have won 18 straight contests against the Baltimore Orioles. That is nuts. They've won 18 straight games against the Orioles. I don't know how many they've, you know, how many straight they've won at Camden Yards. It's it's some crazy number, like 20 or something like that. The Yankees have, the Orioles have not been able to beat the Yankees in 18 contests. That's insane. So the Yankees ended up winning today, 8-6, to six, and now I'm going to go in depth and talk about the ball game, who did well, who didn't do well, and a little bit of an injury scare that went down in this game, but I'll talk about that you know, later on in the video. So let's get, you know, talk about who did well. So uh, the Yankees lineup, DJ LeMay, he was the leadoff man for the Yankees, and he went 1 for 5 in the ball game. Uh, started off 0 for 4, definitely started off slow after a 4-hit game last night, but DJ LeMay, he did end up getting a big single in that ninth inning to put 2 on with 1 out, and then it obviously led to Aaron Judge hitting the home run. So a nice job by DJ LeMay, he went 1 for 5 in the ball game, had that big single in the ninth. Aaron Judge obviously had the big 3-run home run in the game, went 2 for 4 with, uh, with 3 RBIs, obviously with the 3-run home run. Big game for Aaron Judge, and obviously a lot of Yankees fans know Aaron Judge has not been very clutch for the New York Yankees, but he comes through clutch in this game for sure and hits a three-run moonshot off Cole Sulcer, the Orioles' closer, and the Yankees take an 8-6 to six lead in the ninth inning. Aaron Judge is the player of this game. He was phenomenal tonight. He ends up going 2-4 for four on the ball game. Glaber Torres has an injury scare. He goes one for one. He has two at bats, I believe he's, and he's hit by a pitch in the first inning, and he's hit on like the lower part of the elbow uh, by the pitcher John Means. John Means actually actually ended up hitting like I think two Yankees in in that inning. John Means had no control at all, but Glaber Torres was ended up getting hit by a pitch in that game, and uh, you, you know you know in the first inning, and then they ended up taking him out. I think in the fourth or third inning because I, I, I think the elbow started to swell a little bit, so they ended up taking Glaber Torres out of the game, and I believe Glaber Torres X-rays did come out negative, which is good, but Glaber Torres will will be day-to-day -day and might not play tomorrow against the Red Sox, but a little bit of an injury scare there, but Glaber Torres should be okay. You know, I, I guess it was just, sw sw you know, swelled up a bit. They put some ice on it, and then they, you know, ran, ran some x-rays. They came back negative, so uh, good news there, but Glaber Torres did end up getting hit in the elbow. John Means had no control. The Orioles starter had no control in this ballgame. Tyler Wade ended up filling out. He obviously took his spot and ended up batting third. Did go 0 for 3 in the day, so not a great job by Tyler Wade. John Carlos Stanton hit cleanup, and he looked locked in. He went 3 for four on the night. He, I believe he had a run score. He did have a run score. Glaber Torres went, uh, Stanton went, Stanton went, went uh, three for four on the ball game. Stanton looks absolutely locked in right now. He looks so good for the Yankees right now. He has probably been our best hitter so far. Great job by Stanton. Ends up getting three hits against the Orioles tonight. Great job by Stanton. He continues to look better and better. I mean, he looks absolutely incredible. Great job by Stanton. Gets three hits in this ball game. I believe he's batting like 480 something. Stanton's off to a ridiculously hot start. Aaron Hicks went one for three in the ball game. He did a pretty good job. I believe he did get an RBI. No, he didn't. He did walk. He went one for three with a walk. Uh, so a, a pretty decent job by Hicks. Luke Voigt goes two for four. Uh, Luke Voigt hits a grand slam in the first inning off of John Means. Luke Voigt hit a monster shot. Uh, you know, hit a grand slam in the first inning. The first grand slam of the Yankee season. So a grand salami for Luke Voigt. What a job by Luke Voigt today. He goes two for four with four RBIs. Now, Luke Voigt was kind of struggling to start off the year. So a great job by Luke Voigt. He ends up hitting a grand slam in this ballgame. Gary Sanchez. Not off to a great start. I think he's 0 for 15 with 10 strikeouts to start off the year. Gary Sanchez is off to an absolutely horrendous start. He goes 0 for 3 in this ballgame. Bad job by Gary Sanchez, and he's got to break out of the slump. Let's hope he can break out of the slump uh, against the Red Sox. Not a good job by Gary Sanchez. He's off to a ridiculously slow start. Not a good job by him. Uh, he definitely really struggled in this ballgame. G. Urshela goes uh, uh, 0 for 3. He does go 0 for 3, but he does end up scoring a run, so a good job by Urshela. Miguel Andujar ends up um, hitting a, in the 8-hole, played left. Um, he, went 0 for, he went 1 for 2 with a uh, single. And then Mike Talkman went 0 for 2. He ended up pinch hitting for Andujar and ended up playing the field uh, for him. So overall, really good job by this Yankees lineup. They score eight runs on, I believe, how many hits is there? Um, nine hits. They got they got eight runs on nine hits. Had a big first inning. Obviously, that big grand slam by Voigt was probably the main part of this game. Why the Yankees won. But Aaron Judge a clutch three run home run in the ninth to beat the Orioles eight to six. And the Yankees are winners of three ball games in a row. Now the Yankees look to play a three game set. The first 
uh, series of the season at Yankee Stadium. They play a three-game set against the Red Sox, and the Red Sox are off to a really slow start. I believe they did win against the Mets tonight, but the Red Sox are not a great team. They have horrible pitching. The Yankees should be able to beat the Red Sox. I believe Jordan Montgomery starts tomorrow, and then I, I think Tanaka will start the next game. So I think it's Weber, Ryan Weber on the mound for the Red Sox tomorrow, and then Zach Godley uh, will start the former Diamondbacks. Zach Godley will start uh, in, in game two of the series. I'm not sure who will be, who will be starting game three. Uh, I think it might be Paxton. I'm not sure who will be starting for the Red Sox in that game. It might be Nathan Evaldi. We'll see. But overall, great job by the Yankees. They beat the Orioles 8-6. to six. Now let's go over the pitchers. So uh, Jay Happ started off the game for the Yankees, and he went uh, four innings. Uh, he gave up. He had a bad first inning. Ends up giving up a, a two-run home run in the first inning to Hanser Alberto. I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name. Hanser Alberto ends up hitting a two-run home run in the first inning to make it a 5-2 to two ball game. And then in the second inning, Rio Ruiz, who had two hits tonight, ended up hitting a two-run home run in the second inning. But then Happ did settle down and pitched a nice third and fourth inning. But overall, Jay Happ kind of struggled in his debut. So we'll, we'll, I hope that uh, Happ can bounce back at his next start. So not... Not necessarily a great job by Happ, but he wasn't awful. He did settle down at the end. Adam Adovino went in, and he threw a nasty pitch uh, to strike out Nunez. He threw a nasty slider. It was like a Frisbee. Uh, Adam Adovino was nasty tonight. He goes in inning, gives up no runs, no hits. Uh, one hit, rather. No runs, one hit. And it doesn't strike out a guy. But a uh, great job by Adam, uh, Adam Adovino in this ball game. Jonathan Luizaga does go three innings, makes one bad pitch to Pedro Severino, ends up hitting that two-run home run in the eighth inning. That was a tough home run. I was really annoyed when that home run happened. But uh, overall, I thought Jonathan Luizaga did pretty well. He goes three innings, gives up uh, two runs, one hit, walks two, and strikes out four. I thought Luizaga did a pretty good job. Although I, it was kind of a question why Aaron Boone didn't put Tommy Canley in there for, for that eighth inning. That was kind of a questionable move. But anyway, we still ended up winning the game. And then Zach Britton came in and shut the door. Worked a 1-2-3 bottom of the ninth. Ended up striking out two guys. Great job by Britton as he earns his second save of the season. As the Yankees beat the Baltimore Orioles by a final score of 8-6. to six, As the Yankees look to move on and win the series against the rival Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox are not off to a good start. I think we should be able to beat that team. I cannot wait to face the Red Sox. Let's go Yankees. They move to 4-1 and one on the season, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow as the Yankees take on the Red Sox. Jordan Montgomery against Ryan Weber tomorrow at Yankee Stadium. I believe the game starts at 7, and make sure to stay tuned for my post game tomorrow. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. Let's go Yankees.